as a cast iron dog. Well, despite <laughs> that crashing blow from that handily available cast iron Scotty dog, Den Watts was Rasputin like, still alive. More in a moment, but let's meet the merry widow, Chrissy actress Tracy Ann Overman. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Wow, nice ten, months, you. 10 months in EastEnders, and you get a storyline like that. I know, that. I get to do all the iconic, you know, the biggest yeah. soap iconic character ever. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, it's fantastic. Now, what do you think it is? I mean, maybe this is a naive question, but what do you think it is that keeps 14 and a half million people in on Friday night? <laughs> Just to watch Leslie Grantham get, <laughs> get <what's coming laughs> smashed to bits. <laughs> I don't know. I think though. I think the storyline was built up really well. I think yeah. that there was a real who done it. I think the publicity department did a great, you know, a great job yeah, they boosting did. that. Yeah. And yeah. people were talking. It became a real kind of water cooler moment of mm. who was it? Because once upon a time, Chrissy really did like, did, indeed, yeah. did love. And yeah, I think she loved him to the end. I think yeah. it was a case of, you know, a, one of these strong, dynamic women who loved a toxic man. He was the ultimate toxic male. Toxic man, that's a good one. I always one. think of her as like Hillary Clinton. Yeah. The Hillary Clinton of the Vic. <laughs> you know, this strong, dynamic woman married this man who kind of shamed her. Well, then I don't give much for Bill Clinton's chances <laughs> of uh, surviving, <laughs> surviving the year. they didn't have a dog in them. Well, it was a, you're right about the writers. They did a great job. Um, yeah. Because at that moment, we all think that he's dead, obviously. And, you know, that, that little Zoe's killed him. But no. But no, no, no. A few moments later, this... <laughs> I may not be the first woman in your life dead, but I'm definitely going to be the last. <laughs> You'll never get me out of the drink. before he hit the ground. What are we going to do? <laughs> we have all got to get our story straight. <sighs> now, you see, what I... Now, this is where I wonder about the storyline now, because you're going to bury him, and we all know, you're going to bury him in, in this pit that's been dug for other reasons. In, in the drains. In the, so, like, his last words, you are, no, like you'll never holiday. get me out of the Queen Vic. No, you're right then, you're staying <laughs> here for keeps. Um, why wouldn't they go, why do you think they wouldn't actually say, look, hang on, that was self-defence. There's three of us, he's dead, there's yeah. no other witnesses, we can just go and tell the police what happened. This was the debate with my family on Friday night. Was it? And, friends, and across exactly the land. That, yeah. My family and friends who are lawyers, some of them. <laughs> Good question. Uh, I think because <laughs> Sam, I think Chris is thinking on the hoof, and I think yep. Chris is really panicked, and I think she knows that there's that Sam is not. Now Sam knows that Chrissy was part of the plan yep. to defraud her of the Vic. I think yeah. she thinks I'm not. I'm going to shaft her, and I think she knows there's an unhealthy alliance between the three of them. Right. And I think yeah. that in the moment she thinks, get rid of him. Conveniently, the pit is dug. Yeah, yeah. Let's just get the cement. People are in on on Monday. Let's just stick him in there. And deal with it. I said it sounds like our holiday, did not it? Did you? What? <laughs> <laughs> I should say. I, I have an with my lawyer. <laughs> we did have to have a pit. We did have to have a pit dug. What are you on about? Drains. Oh, the drains. Oh, oh well, let's drains. not go there. Let's not oh, do right. this You didn't bury someone conveniently. No, we didn't. Under. Actually, no, we never actually thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to use these opportunities, <laughs> yes, Yeah, you know, <laughs> drain holes appear. Okay. You should use them. Okay, now, uh, we're not going to spoil it for... Uh, we, we have a clip to show you from tonight and tomorrow night, but we have decided not to, because we think it'll give it away too much. We want to keep the suspense going for people. Um, but tell me one thing. Uh, the builders are coming back to pour the concrete in the, in the, the hole that they've dug. Yes. So what are you, how are you going to... What's happened with the body? Are you going to cover it with rocks? Or? Well, I gather... Uh, nails were broken because we stuck him in there we obviously put rocks and stuff over him we dragged his body down there mopped up the blood so we've covered his body right. and then the cement will just be poured in and covered over and he'll never be mentioned do you think it'll be like okay, brookside well do you think it'll be like brookside where they'll you know there was always a body under the patio do you think he'll i mean what this is your guess now you yeah don't know. Do i don't know what do you think what would you like would you like him to be dug up or would you like him to stay there forever well at some point but i think i mean they've, they've just renewed my contract for a year so i don't think it'll be for a while <laughs> we know in a year but i'd like to think that's her reason for having to stay there she can't afford to leave that yeah. vic because... well i'm glad they've renewed your contract but let's you. talk about you just for a bit because you've been in i mean you you went to manchester university did you do drama there yeah i did i did a drama degree right and i went and to central school of speech and drama and then you and then you I went to the RSC. 
see. Could have been a doctor at the end of all that, yeah. I think so, the RAC. I'm yeah, the RAC. My sister thought it was the, cars, R yeah. the yeah. RAC. Yeah. Um, and, so, and, and also, you, you were very much drawn to being a stand-up comedian at one point, weren't yeah. you? Because oh. I, wrote, I wrote comedy as well, and um, I went with a friend of mine. We went to the City Lit, do a fantastic stand-up comedy course. Yeah. And I just wanted to know what it was like, because it was all about writing your own material and finding what was funny in you. And I'd, I'd done so many sketch shows and, and comedies and comedy dramas. And I did it, and I did it about four times, and I couldn't handle it. It's the hardest really? thing I've ever what, done. What, the nerves, the back? Yeah, it's just what? being on your own, up there, in front of an audience, being funny on your own. Yeah. And the thing about acting is you're interacting with somebody else, yes. and you're creating something for an audience. But with stand-up, it's just you and your material. It I, was awful. I'm glad you said that, because I have to say that people like Jenny Eclair, you know, <laughs> and, the, and the, there's not that many female stand-ups who, who are successful. I, I, maybe it's sexist, but I have far more admiration for a woman stand-up yeah. than I do a male stand-up. Because I, I just think you're so exposed totally. up there. Totally. It's really hard. And you, you, for all the things that being a woman is as well, because I think you're judged on what you look like, yep. and in some ways, if you look too dressed up, like you've made too much effort, they'll get you for that. Yep. And on the other hand, they do they expect you to do female material, and what is female material? Yeah. It's really difficult. It's a lonely, so did frightening you, experience. So yeah. did you, as, as the expression has it, die on your ass? No, I actually got laughs, good? and I kept getting rebookings, but I spent most of the time in the loo, and I'm not somebody who gets <laughs> frightened easily. I'm quite, you know, yeah. I'll go out and do it, but it really fazed me. Mm. You know, just the, that thought of, it's going to be me, it's got to be, it's me on my own out there. I've got, <gasps> Are they going to laugh? Are they going to laugh? So, you, th so you thought basically, OK, I'm going to have to stick to acting. It was more, I d wanted to do it just to see what it was like as a sideline and for writing comedy. And it helped yeah. me in that respect for yeah. finding, you know, what I found funny and then and putting... And do you write now? Well, I, d I write, wrote with um, some uh, comedy writing partners of mine and we, we won the um, BBC Two Green Light Award, which mm. is all about sort of sitcom and sketch shows. Mm. So we won Fantastic. that. So I write a bit for Radio 4. But it's, it's mm. I, I prefer the acting rather than the yeah. having to write it and perform it. Yeah. Well, it was extremely bright. What, what, was your, what was your degree? What did you get? I did it. Well, I started doing classics and then I did drama. And what did and you I, get? I got a 2 one. Got Two. Same as Madam here. You got two. Did one, you get a two one? Yeah. But not in classics, in English and drama. You? No, I just did drama. Where were you? Uh, Bristol. Oh, wow. Oh. Better than Manchester. Uh, better than Manchester. Much better. <laughs> that would be better than Manchester. It was. That was <laughs> where I was well, born. No, I love Manchester to bits. But I decided I wanted to get away from home for yeah, a bit. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, it's lovely to meet you. Oh, it's lovely to meet yeah, you. Yeah, congratulations. Oh, I mean, ten months you. in EastEnders, and look at it. You're right at the apex of the storyline. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. fantastic. So thank and you. well deserved, too. Thank it's fantastic. you. Really nice to thank meet you. you. Nice to OK, meet you. now here's your own chance to uh, cruise the Caribbean and spend some quality time with your partner, or maybe take a trip with someone else in the family or a friend.